Yeah. Bare minimum is this side in. And then we're ready for slabs tomorrow. Oh god. Where should I start? Right. We forgot shorts. And it's gone very time that sun comes there out. Yeah, that's why you uh, double check with your diagonals. There's the line we did with the square. And there's our actual square with the diagonals. So yeah. When did you do the concrete, Alex? And it's also June the 16th, quarter past eight. So here we go. Here's the concrete I did. When did I do the concrete, Alex? Wherever it was, I was there. Uh, you were knocking to... walls down, weren't you? No, you weren't. You, you were putting walls, moving. Here we go. Napier's has arrived. So <laughs> that's two scoops gone already. Time. I'll get you on time lap. Yeah. So yeah, anyway. We're here. And we're getting up to damp today. So um Phil has managed to get us a delivery. So we've got the seven Newton block on the bottom. We've got trench block next layer up, then we've got our class B's on top of that, then we've got our cement, then we've got our fibre lights for our porch walls. It's gonna be rendered. We've got our ballast for our concrete, our porch slab and our 10 foot lintel for our new lintel going in here. As you can see it's got a bit of a bell cast on it there. <laughs> and it's a big crack up there. Right up there. Don't know whether that's brickwork or just the render. Because this has been rendered twice. Render over render. So our plan is to get up to damp, there's a cable going in, there's a vent going in and <clears throat> tomorrow we'll be prepping the slab and slabbing it, taking that step out, <laughs> taking that step out, bless you, and um, taking this render off where so we can go back to solid wall with our block work. One of the doors going back there and then it's dwarf wall and then pillar each corner because they, they don't want that massive window again like we, like we took out. Um, we're all knackered because we only got to bed at 2 o'clock last night because he, he, these three, Alex, his mum and Sarah's sister were at um, Taylor Swift. Yes. Which is an experience for you, isn't it? An Fif experience. 52,000. I'll say this, it was the biggest concert I've ever seen and probably will ever, will ever see. Yeah. But mum was happy, so I was yeah, happy. that was the idea. Bought them tickets a while ago, didn't you? Last year, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Obviously, if anyone knows the errors tour, they know that's borderline impossible to get to. Yeah. So it was, it was my sister's mission to get mum there. Yeah. And then um, at a reasonable price as well. Yeah, all things considered. Mm. So we're uh, like get time lapse where we get loaded out and set out and whatever. I'm going to get the new laser level out. New laser level out. And get set out. Settled it. I've made it work brick. Not that that really matters because it's going to be block work. But um, I've come right out here. I've, give, I've made it slightly bigger because this is going to be cavity wall, so they're not losing room in the floor. Um, and we've squared off with it using our square, and then ranged it through. You've always got to 
to double check with your diagonals because you only have to have one brick kicking out and it throws your square out and then the commons below ground so we've got our corner point now that worked brick I'm going to 2750 I think this is but I'll work out see if it worked brick and if it doesn't again it doesn't really matter because it's block work but we'll try and get it to work brick so um, with my glamorous assistant we'll uh, lay some bricks out I'm going to be using the stone for backfilling the outside as well. So I feel like Dad just said then, hey. these are these, uh, the, that's stepped, well, this is stepped in or that's stepped out, whichever you want, so the diagonals aren't the same number, so we're going to have two different diagonals. So what Dad's just doing is uh, big brain maths to uh, Get that figured out. So this is one, 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 five. And obviously, if you've been watching our videos for a long time, or if, um, or if you remember your, your Pythagoras theorem in school, that's what you do. Which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So you find your square root of. A, you find your square of A and B, now I'll get your C, so then you do the square root of that, and that's your measurement. I didn't know a lot in school, but I was alright with maths. 2967. There we go, 2967. You have to use lava for this one, or I'll use lava. Lava what for? Just to get all this put in. Ah. So three courses up. Don't it normal. It was out, that was that square. Hmm? The square on the wall was out by 10 mil. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go, another tip. Don't trust your square, because if you're going off something that's wrong, it will be wrong. The square's right, but then you have to have one brick kicking out a little bit. Yeah. And then, if the brick's kicking out five mil, and it kicks that out. So, each, to each time you, each, each distance you go bigger, the bigger the, yeah. the more it's out. So it's, so it's probably about a couple of mil at here, but it's ten mil at this side, which yeah. is the whole thing out. So we'd have been... 10 mil out square that way. Doesn't very parallelogram there. Watch. So 
keep your pace, spend that extra bit of time and double check yourself. That's what we used to do on our site, wasn't it? We'd uh, never listen to the pins. Yeah. Get the two foot trial, please. So that's why you uh, double check with your diagonals. There's the line we did with the square, and there's our actual square with the diagonals. So yeah, good, good, ten, good ten mil. Yeah, because that's when we measured off that the original line, the original line there. I put it over there, and we checked the diagonal; it was wrong. So what we've done is we've put that end right with the diagonal, and then measured back, and then double check that diagonal. So after we'll, we'll double check the, uh, the the span measurements as well. Cheers. Right. I'm going to give you your 11.15 update. Oh. Turn this music off. Oh god, where shall I start? Right. Concrete's not gauge. Because we're following the floor level and the coursing on the porch, so we've got a uh, bedding up to do. So, we've done this here. Cut, cut blocks down to give us a brick and edge instead of using brick and edge in case we run out of bricks I might just do brick and edge with the rest the inside is going to have to be a split a tiny little thin split so I've been to collect some sand from Selco picked up a brand new saw so I can use my old one for cutting some blocks picked up two Selcons so I can cut them down for the bottom and also remember we need a red dye for the brickwork which I had to go and get to Tool, tool Station and the periscopic vent which I also got from Tool Station all of this was forgotten all, the, all those guys were at Taylor Swift yesterday I was sorting the van out myself and pretty much forgot everything so I've spent the last hour and yeah, good hour bobbing around luckily the stuff isn't far away we're not far from the entry really. so we're sorting now we're going to get in oh, let's get the mix in plain mix I'm going to get all the block work in, do all the internal block work and then add to add to that, top the mix up and put the red dye in ready for the reds. There's only three courses of reds to descend to about halfway and then it's six courses to descend. Well it's five now. So um, yeah, that's that. Oh hang on, six. No, six no. It's, yeah, it's five. Five on top of that. So um, yeah. Try and claw things back. Oh yeah, what else? We've forgot the big saw, which we should always bring. We've forgot shorts, and it's gone very. Time that sun comes out, it's very hot. And then, um, yeah, that's it. Just a usual, usual day for us too. <laughs> so um, yeah, once that mix is done, we're gonna get stuck in. And I'll pull this back this afternoon. It's only a porch after all. So um, yeah, catch you in a bit.
Okay, right. So. What you need your today is a 190 mil piece. 190. Oh, right, yeah. That's the first block you set, then there'll be a little piece next to that, and then you block it. Well, it's going to be fiddly bits as well, isn't it, for this vent? Yeah. That's because of the mother saw with the saw. See, that vent needs to go. Roughly there, isn't it, for it to be straight? If anything, a bit more to my right. It's going to have to go in the top course then, isn't it? Of brick? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we used to usually do anyway. Right, but as you can see, we're finally figuring out... Oh, you put that in wrong. Hmm? You put that wrong. What do you mean? You need to drop it. Drop what? It doesn't go like that, does it? It's supposed to go there. Ours is going there. You can extend it that way. It's only there for reference. Yeah. Oh, shit. But there, uh, we uh, we're getting around our awkward patch, shall we call it? Yeah, still getting around it, aren't we? Yeah. But we, we can we can see we can see where it's going now, which is good. Can we talk to the camera? Yeah. My side is uh, just one course of block on that side, really, because that's the doorway. So just course of block and then three bricks all the way around. With the way with the way the sand is at the moment, our goal is we're going to get this ready. We're going to at least get it ready for floor tomorrow, and then. We can always bring some more sand tomorrow if, if we run out and we can get the brickwork in. The important thing is we get that ready for, for backfilling and whackering and me not touching the whacker before it's uh, cooled down. Cool down. Yes, not making that mistake again. Be fair to that meeting each other since that, wouldn't it? Yeah. So yeah, so that's the plan. We have a plan and uh, we've got the cable through as well so that's in there ready. Can I some block, please, yes, I'll get that some block. I'll get you back on time lapse now. Right, it was after lunch, and it was probably like half two, twenty to three. But we haven't filmed for a bit just because we've been trying to get our heads around all this. But good news is, yeah. And the good news is, it's set out. The bit, the next fiddle that we had to work around was this vent. So obviously we couldn't have it. So it was going through the uh, hardcore, through the um, the concrete. Sorry. Yeah, through the hardcore. Hardcore. Hardcore under the my brain's fried today under the concrete, but um, it's been that long since we're using it. We used to use them, used to use them every day um, when I was doing the foundations. That thing is supposed to come down the back of the outside skin, yeah, not supposed down to be the back of the trench box. supposed to be flush. So, in reality, we should have put some four inch block there, and, but we've figured it out, we've got it worked. This is the door, obviously. We've chopped the block down so the city. Sit the vent down below the hardcore level. Yes. So we're going to take two pipes off there, straight across there, onto the hardcore, and then we can adjust that can be moved now. Adjust it. So now I'm getting a rip. So we moved it so it works bricks, so it's not. Um, no awkward bits, yeah. I've got, I'm getting a red mix in now so we can get these bricks in and whatever else. So, job and up with the mortar, really. Yeah. It's not Six cores down my end, three cores down your end. We'll see where this we'll see where this gets us. I've got one more bag of sand to put in there, so, so that's the block done. Yes it is. That's slab ready. We just need a better push. We're gonna get a lot more done. And a bit a bare minimum we need to do it. Yeah, bare minimum is this side in. And then we're ready for slabs tomorrow. Let's get you on time lapse.